Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. All right. Well, obviously, the podcast is Everyone's a Millionaire. So we know because you are here that you have a net worth of at least one million. What did you do to get that one million net worth? Man, that is a loaded question. I, I'm gonna give you my so gut, my. I'm gonna give you my gut read. The first thing I did was I decided that I wanted to be wealthy. I love right? that. That is the first thing I did. Everything in life, in my opinion, begins with a decision. If you don't decide, it's hard to commit. And if you don't commit, you can't get to where you want to go. Right. So that's the first thing is decide that you want to become a millionaire. Decide that you be, want to become wealthy. Whatever that might be for you. Right. The second thing is, is I educated myself and I surrounded myself more importantly, because education is abundant. Like you can get education anywhere and everywhere these days. When I got started in 2005, that wasn't always the case. I was going to boot camps and buying books and things of that nature, but um, decide, educate yourself. But most importantly, I think it's so important that you immerse yourself in the right communities, the right environments. Um, I realize it's somewhat of a boring answer because I think Inherently, most people, David, know that coaches and mentors are important. Uh, but I remember in 2007, when I lost $51,000 on my first luxury fix and flip, I did so because I viewed coaches and mentors as an expense. And I, to this day, you know, over 750, almost 800 deals I think I've closed in my career, um, that has been the best deal of my career, losing 51 grand, because that was the catalyst to now view coaches and mentors as one of the best investments in myself. And ever since, ever since 2008, I've had multiple coaches and mentors. To this, right now, I have four coaches in different areas of my life. Uh, so loaded question, but if I had to distill it, I would say decide, educate yourself, coaches and mentors. And then you have to be so intentional about execution. It's not gonna fall in your lap. You gotta do the work. No substitute for the hard work. Do the hard work, believe in yourself. Uh, make mistakes, learn from those mistakes, and you keep going and growing. Yeah, I love it. That was that was an awesome answer. 